Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on SQL Developer. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to export data in flat file. Here flat file means you can use comma separated file such as CSV, you can use text file or you can use the dot SQL file. There are some other options also available which we are going to see shortly. In previous session, we have seen how to create a database connection using SQL Developer, how to connect a database and execute select query. So we have again open a SQL Developer. We have already configured one database, but we are not connected. In order to connect the database, so before execute, executing any query such as select query, update query, delete query, or any other DML operation before executing that we have to connect to particular database right now if you see none of the database we have connected in order to connect you have to just select the database instance right click and click connect or let's do one thing select this query and there are some options available so you can see a run statement or you have the run script and some other option which we are going to see in our upcoming session so let's try to execute and assume that we are not connected to any database when you click on the run statement it takes us to a new dialog box and it asks which database to connect so select any of this database let me select CMX ORS and click OK so when you click OK the database connection will be established so at the left hand side you can see the connection icon is enabled for the other two databases there is no connection icon and at the bottom we can see the result so what are the columns which we have for that table here the table name is cbo party so we we got the result now suppose business user would like to review this data and they would like to see in excel sheet format or csv file format and we need to export this in order to export you have to just right click and you have the various option save grid as a report single record view count rows find highlight publish to apex and export so choose the export option just click and it will take us to a, a new format so you can s uh, select the which format you want a uh, data like html format insert statements loader format pdf format txt format xls format xlss excel sx format or xml formats so all these formats you have or you can choose any of this so let me choose excel or uh, let me select text format then um, you have to choose the what is the line terminator so we can use the line terminator any of this let me select the environment default left enclose right enclosure its quotes value single file or if you want separate files if you want type files separate directory worksheet or clipboard let's see select the what is available then you have to browse the location and where you want the file let me select the c drive or let me go to d drive and we have training and let's export here so you can give any name test save so it, right now if you see uh, it's test it is saving as a tsv if you choose a different format for example html the file name changes like thtml htm if you use xlsx then the format changes accordingly so let's uh, you can select any of this format and encoding you can choose cp or you can have the different uh, encoding such as if you are using the foreign country characters in your data like Chinese or Korean 
you can select the UTF-8 coding click next then just finish so data will be exported let me navigate you to that drive D drive and training and we can see this test.xlsx got created if you want to open it you can just double click and you can see the data so if you notice one thing um, while exporting data we have not selected all data so you can just right click on any column and all the data and just export it it will export all the data if you want particular data then just select that line and export it and it will export that particular data so if you you can select all data and export or you can just right click on any one cell and export this is very simple way the other thing if you observe in the result you can see the columns are automatically uh, the the column or the header column names are automatically get populated so there is no extra pro extra need there is no need to select any option for exporting headers however there are some option will come if you choose particular like suppose let's select insert so when you select insert the file is sql let me show you one more if it is htm then htm if it is insert then it's insert let me let's go ahead and choose the d drive here let's go and save as test.sql save so we can see it's a sql insert sql you can choose a uh, table name and the other parameters click next select the if you want to select any particular options you can select options what are the options available this is the source this is the file name etc you will give the summary and so these are the statements will be created so in insert into table name what are the table name we want to insert into you can change the table name also these are the column names and these are the values will be inserted and where this file present this file will be present in this location which we gave similarly if you want the result in htm format and x it out let's do x it out and this time we'll export in the htm format so that you can use in the, you can view in the browser so htm and let's use this and I will say training like test HTM. Click on next and finish. So data got exported very quickly. You can see the HTM file. Just double click and you will see data in the browser. So this is very easy, straightforward, and you can give this data to um, the business user or whoever, whoever interested in this data so th these are the ways by which you can export data in your SQL developer in upcoming session we are going to explore the editor view what are the options available how to use those and what are the things we need to take care of while using this option so if you have any questions or queries about SQL developer you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section. Thank you again and have a nice time.